Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to PC Building Simulator. What a week that was, huh? Well, it seems there's been a bunch of updates and the old theft Rooney is no longer an option, which is cool. The only real reason I did all of those test, uh, tests were to highlight to the developers that it was an option and um, then they could fix it. And it seems like they did, which is excellent. So it looks like we got three jobs in. This one's got eight days. This one is just uh, a 3D mark score of 2,154, which is pretty low, I've got to say. Um, oh, this one needs to be done by the end of today. So obviously this is our priority. And I think, if I remember correctly, this is just a RAM upgrade. Eight gig and then run 3D mark. Pretty easy stuff. We've done this a hundred times already. So no issue there. Oh, it's a nice graphics card. GTX 1060. Hmm. Yeah, we can't steal it anymore. Right, what we need to do is we need to slam the USB drive in up here. In fact, should we test, should we test stealing something? I won't do it on this one. We'll, we'll get a specific job in just to test and make sure that their anti-theft operation is in full force. Right, we need to run 3D Mark. Well, we need to install 3D Mark. Anytime you like. Anytime you like. My goodness me, that took some time. That took some time. <laughs> as soon as it's fully simulated, there's no good reason for having that delay, but I quite appreciated it nonetheless. Upgrade to 8 gig of RAM. What do we have? We've got Team Group T Force Delta 2 RGB Series Black 4 gigabytes. Well, we're just going to whack any old tosh in there, really. Uh, oh, and I was going to say, only three channels? Who'd have thought it? I do find it odd um, where they seem to put the RAM. It never seems to be where I would put it, personally. I go one and three, two and four. So in this instance, I'd go four, but I always feel like it has to go one and three. It's probably me just being anal, to be fair. Right, let's slam this in here. And then put the case back on. And that is the job complete death that did. We'll run 3D Mark. And then uh, go and jump on one of the other machines and get that fixed. Okay. That's a funny startup noise, isn't it? Do you think they deliberately? Are? Yeah, I'd like um, I'd like an introduction to my operating system, and I want it to sort of start off, sort of as though it's waking up, and then just as it's about to be fully awake, it needs to go a bit wonky and a bit. Do you think they asked for that specifically? It's an odd request if they did. Okay, Mr. Clifford, what are we doing here? Replace the hard drive. Replace the graphics card. Why are we doing this? Go to check. Mr. Clifford. There we are. Lin Registrar. My PC is broken. There's this really loud grinding noise. Oh yeah, that's why. That's a loud ground grinding noise. Should we hear should we hear the grinding noise? Hmm. Well that's something clearly they need to add. <laughs> I was actually I genuinely I was half expecting a grinding noise there. So since the update, I haven't actually read the uh, the notes, to be fair, but since the update, I wonder if they've implemented a restriction where you can't just chuck any old rubbish in there. Let's hope so. But we'll see. Um, graphics cards. What did I just pull out of his... Oh, it's the broken one here. GTX 1015 Ti Gaming 4G. Well, you wouldn't believe this. I've almost got the same one. Let's go for the MSI GeForce GTX 1050 2G because that's the least good one that we've got. And just see if that's suitable. See if that ticks the box. It does. Excelente. Right, now we've just got to figure out where the hard drive is. Where's the hard drive in this thing? Oh, I spot it. Hidden behind here, look. Does that mean this needs to come out? <laughs> Looks like it comes out the back. 
Well, that's fine. We can uh, we can remove this side panel, can we? Why can't I remove the side panel? I can't remove the side panel. Is it because this is in the way? It might be, you know. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's new. It's not quite right, but they have done something, which is good. It has, ha made, blah, blah, blah. It has taken a step forward. Oh, goodness me. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. You've only got to aim. I've got a new mouse, by the way, guys. I've got a Logitech G502. Apparently, it's regarded as one of the best gaming mice uh, on the planet. On the damn planet. Which is cool. I used it because I'm getting really... Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's a good test. Let's see if they'll accept that tiny little hard drive. Yeah, I'm getting really into my FPS using keyboard and mouse. Um, and my keyboard and mouse as a combo cost me like £15. So it's not really top of the range stuff. So uh, yeah, I made an investment. And um, I've got to say, I've got to say, actually, that it, it's a very good mouse. I'm very happy with it. And that, despite the ridiculous cost of it, it's £50, which is a lot of money. Um, and the only reason I could get that, the only reason I was able to get that was because uh, I, I had to return uh, a microphone. Because you know I've been having these microphone issues. Well, I had to return a microphone because despite paying hundreds of pounds for it, it just didn't, it, it just wasn't good enough. It wasn't. And it was a Rode NT USB. And it just hissed constantly. It was a horrible, horrible... I couldn't fix the sound. It was just beyond help. So I returned that to Amazon. Um, and uh, they were good enough to return my money. And uh, with it, I bought this mouse. And uh, what I have to say about the mouse is this. That until I got this mouse, I didn't realise... I suspected, but I didn't realise that all these... Um, really good, uh, really like top of the range, best FPS players out there with keyboard and mouse. They're cheating mofos, all of them. There's a button on here, which um, basically this mouse is, can work up to 12,000 DPI, which is like that. Sorry if that makes you dizzy. 12,000 DPI is like the most, this is the, apparently, the most, uh, the, the best laser sensor in a mouse ever period is what i've heard so um there's a button on here which can take it from 12,000 to 100 and 100 is more like that sort of speed and you think well wh wh what benefit is that well when you're running around and you're like you know going around a corner and you see a see an enemy and you go whoa bang shoot them and oh, take them down that's how that happens but when you hit the deck and you're like, oh, long range shot and you zoom in and you're like, oh, just trying to just trying to get this on his head and I can't. You press this button here and it totally smooths your mouse control down like that. I mean, it's so fine. So left and right, left and right. See the difference if I do it on the monitor here. That's how fast it is now. And then I press the button and you can just see it's a bit slower. And that's completely configurable, by the way. So these guys with unbelievably good aim are actually cheating tosh. <laughs> they really are. They're just using hardware to get to be better. And for those people with a normal mouse like me, you've got no chance. And you keep, you know, unless you know about this stuff, you, you're thinking, my God, they're good, aren't they? I mean, they are good, don't get me wrong. I mean, they have they have played it enough to be able to go, whoom, and know exactly where that stall is. You know, I'd be there, bang, 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 miss, miss, miss. They'd be there, bang, 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 miss, miss, kill, kill, kill. So that's the difference. Anyway, that was a bit slightly off topic, wasn't it? What are we doing with this here? A 3D Mark score of 2,154. Right, okay. Let's install a, a USB. Let's put the USB on the side of the PC. Uh, we'll just have a look through here at all of our stolen stuff. I don't know what I'm going to use any of this for, by the way. Now you're going to be asking yourself, why has he just put the side back on? The reason why I've done that is because I'm going to get rid of all of this crap. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't sell it. Can I sell it now? 
Inventory. PC parts. Oh, this is silly. That's my penance, I guess, for having stolen it in the first place. I can't sell any of it. <laughs> oh, no! It's going to be stuck in my inventory forever. That's just outrageous. Well, serves me right, doesn't it? Serves me right for nicking it in the first place. Silly sod. Right, okay, well, all right, whatever. Um, right, let's boot this up. Oh, no, try again. Let's boot this up. Install 3D Mark. Restart now. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Do you know, I don't have a coffee this morning. I really need a coffee. I'm going to have to go get a coffee. Right. Why am I running 3D Mark? Oh, so that I know... <laughs> so that I know what the score is, obviously. That's why I need a coffee, guys. In fact, yeah, I might just go get a coffee. Do you know what I mean? Whilst that's running 3D Mark. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we are. How do we get on? Whew. 2015. That was a good year, that was. Very good year. What's the target? I can't remember. 2154. What have we got here? A GTX 1050 Ti Gaming. So the 3D score here is 1,318, and we've got to bump this up by how many? 154. So 140, 139. We've got to bump it up by 139, okay. And this is, So I'm thinking he's got this one here, this MSI GeForce GTX 1050 Gaming 2 gig. I think that's what he's got in there. Let's just power it down a second. We need to get 139 out of this, so um, this is definitely coming out. EVGA GTX 1050 Ti Gaming 4 gig. Ah, oh, this one here. 1,335, so we need 1,469. 1,469. So this one here, the MSI Radeon R9 280 Gaming 3G. And if you look in our inventory, I'm pretty sure we've got that. Uh, MSI Radeon R7, MSI Radeon R9 280. Oh, oh, that's not the same one, is it? Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. R9 280 Gaming 3G. Cool. So that should give us exactly the, the target we need. Well, just over, actually. If I've read that correctly. Ooh, that was a bit weird. Um, where is it now? There it is. Right, let's install you. It'll be a good test, actually. I don't think there's any power for this one. No. Nope. Let's see if that is how it works. Run another test whilst I sit here and sip my coffee. Ah, that's good coffee. Good coffee. There's nothing better than a good coffee. Oh, except for an Irish whiskey coffee. Yeah, there's nothing better than a good coffee than a good Irish coffee. I forget what that's called. Marks and Spencers, in case you don't know, sell these pre-packaged two glass Irish coffees and um, Lord knows what's in them Lord knows what's in them because you don't have to refrigerate them you don't have to do anything with them and it, it, it comes with this like silver foil covering over the top of the glass this tiny little glass this tiny little coffee glass and um, you pierce the top a couple of times with a knife and then you whack it in the microwave for two minutes and when it comes out it is just perfect it is the perfect Irish whiskey 
the Irish coffee, I should say. And um, yeah, I get I get one of those every Christmas, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Right, 2062. Well, that's not enough. Clearly, that isn't how the score thing works. That's most irritating. Because that gives us an extra 130. MSI Radeon R9 280. That is what is in there, isn't it? MSI. MSI. Oh, DFL Radeon R9 280 GR8 3G. GR8? Ah. Oh, it was this. This is the one we've got. The DFL. Oh, that's why we didn't get the score. Well, that's what we need is an MSI Radeon R9 280. Okay, well, let's just order one in and then we can do the test. Uh, R9. MSI Radeon R9 280 th Gaming 3G. For $170. Oh, hang on a minute. How much are we getting paid for this? Hang on a cotton picking minute. Oh, that's not good enough. That's like $15 profit. Minus all the time we've spent on it. There's no, uh, there's no deadline for that, is there? No, there's no deadline. So we could just... Um... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll run the test and see if that works. So that's not going to be here for a couple of days, though, guys. That's the only issue with that, is, um, yeah. We should, there's enough space here for like 10, 15 PCs maybe. We should be allowed to fill that up. It's most frustrating when you're waiting for parts to come in and you can only have a couple of jobs on the go. I mean, I know as soon as you get rid of one, you get another one, but still, I think we should have multiple at the same time. Oops. Oh, just give me the one I want, that one. Doing well for money. Uh, oh, we leveled up to level 7. We've unlocked the Cooler Master Maker 5T case and Arctic Bionics case fans, Ryzen 6 and 8 core CPUs. These components are available in the shop right now. Cooler Master Master Maker 5T, the Arctic Bionic X F120, different colour variations. It's like variations, probably an extra fan. AMD Ryzen 7 8 core 1700, AMD Ryzen 5 6 core 1600. Well done, keep PC building, PC building simulator team. Thank you, PC building simulator team, for your encouragement. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, I hate using my computer at the moment. I need to open some files from Adobe Premiere Pro CC minimum spec. I'd like you to run 3D Mark afterwards to check it's okay. Kind regards from James Bedford at James Bedford Development. Well, okay. For $55. Um, no. <laughs> that's, no, absolutely not. That's not enough money. Oh, that's a bit more money. Good day. I haven't upgraded for a while, so it's about time. I'm a bit obsessed with performance. Does 3,767 sound reasonable for a benchmark score? I'm hoping for 4 gigabyte of memory, if you can stretch to that. I look forward to hearing back from you, from Catherine, who sounds very, very deep Australian. Well, uh, yeah, we'll take that on. That's worth a uh, crack, isn't it? A chack. That, we, what, what I'm thinking there is we might be able to use SLI Crossfire or something. Um, we haven't done that yet, so that would be, be an interesting job to take on. I hear you work with computers. My rig just isn't up to the task anymore. I want to make sure my rig is, fast, is as fast as it can be. Can you get it benchmarked to at least 4,155? I've got to have it back by the 26th of the 2nd, 2018, which is 12 days from now. Kind regards from Adrian Briscoe at Actual Books. Not pretend books, but actual books. Wow. I like that. Um, yeah, we'll take that on. So, it looks like we're going to have a lot of stuff to play with over the next couple of days. We'll just have to wait for Helen Forster's uh, card to come in to see if we hit a, a 3D score mark of 2154. I think we will. And, um, yes, I wonder if I can... Hmm. 
I suppose the SLI Crossfire thing comes in the box with the card, doesn't it? I bought a card once before that had um, an SLI in it. So I assume when you buy the card, you get the SLI Crossfire adapter thingy with it. We'll find out, I guess. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to uh, play this game and have you guys watch and comment and uh, participate. It is absolutely awesome, a game, and it just keeps getting better. I'm sure you agree. Until next time, take care. Goodbye for now.